you may approach the bench, not just any bench, the hot bench. We're talking about the Emmy nominated show where real court cases are deliberated by a panel of three judges. And those three judges are Yodit Tewelde, Rachel Juarez, and Michael Corriero. Yes, so we are so happy you're joining us. You're joining us from the set there in the courtroom. And Your Honor, Michael, you're the veteran. Yes. It's your seventh season. Tell us why this show works, because it really does sort of pull back the curtain on how stuff works. Well, I, I, that's precisely why it works. We, we, we are transparent in terms of how we think and how we decide the cases that are in front of us. So you'll get to see how we reason through an issue, and you can agree with it or disagree with it, but the important thing is you, you understand why we're ruling in the way that we do. Boast of his kind. Yeah. He's on the lease. He He's on the hook very to confident. the landlord. When my ex-wife left, was your, what was he your wasn't agreement very confident. I'm talking now. Three heads are definitely better than one, and so more times than not, we're, we're going to get the verdict right. Um, but it's just it's just been a pleasure uh, joining these two for the second season for me and Rachel um, to just join a show that honestly allows us to educate and entertain not just the viewers, but the litigants themselves. She stole my car. I did not steal this car. He stole my car. Ma'am, there's a police report that says that you stole the car. You average nearly 2 million viewers. And speaking of the cases, so here's just a case that's coming up. I declare a door war, and it's all about a traffic accident where one driver hit another driver's leg while it was extended out of a parked car. I mean, that's, that's a real thing. And like you said, sometimes truth is stranger than fiction, right? Right. Yeah, and it's a it's a real thing that happens. It's very relatable. And also in that case, it's a perfect example of kind of the age of smartphones. Because after this accident, there was an altercation, a little bit of a dispute between these two folks, and they both brought their phones out. Who do you agree with the most? Ah, oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> Who do I agree with the most? <laughs> that, no. Center. That, that, you're, you're throwing a curveball at me at this juncture. I, I must tell you that I respect both of them uh, equally, and and uh, uh, importantly, uh, I, I credit that that respect for our harmony and and resolving cases. So so I'm not going to answer your question. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, I won't. And ask by the way, I want to give one shout out. Pittsburgh is a hockey town. It and is. my grand nephew is going to North Catholic High School, and he's part of the, Pen uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins elite uh, uh, team uh, program. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Jack Dunn. And I, I wanted to say that and take advantage of that opportunity to say it. We're glad you, you did. Mind. That is fantastic. <laughs> we love a Pittsburgh connection. So I'm glad that you yes. mentioned that. All right, hey, there's some, you, your chemistry works. It's working, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate Great. it. Great. Thanks for having you. All right, we have come to a verdict. Hot Bench is a hit. Hot Bench kicks off its 10th season coming up this month.